Hello, welcome to Mystic Energy. I am here with your bi-weekly love reading for my lovely Taurus. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and its cross watchers for the time frame of April 1st through April 15th. You guys were the last of the bunch. I do apologize. They want us to start with these and these. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. If it doesn't resonate, say it with me now. There are 999,000 other readers out there. Check them out. Spin the block. Come back in a day or so. Or get a personal reading where I can tap into your own individual energy. You can reach out to me at mrenergy at gmail.com or on Wizio where you look, look at my reviews and other readings and snippets of how I read and my style and see if you like it, okay? Um, other than that, make sure you like, share, subscribe, hit that bell so you know when I'm dropping another video. All right, so... I keep wanting to pick this deck up, so we're going to start with this one. Okay. Let's go. Holy oh, Spirit Archangels, what messages do you have for my lovely Taurians, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in regards to love? Okay. First card out, calling in your soulmate here, and then we have true love. So some of you guys can have love coming in. Yeah. Flirting. Some of you guys be flirting with somebody, getting to know somebody right now. Um, but this could be somebody that you could be highly compatible with. It feels like a soulmate energy and it has true love. But I feel like it's in the beginning stages. Okay. So let's continue. So good. So hot, Taurus. Because the love readings were crazy this week. Yes, they were. Okay. Look inside yourself. Examine what is causing you to feel this way. So for some, you could be getting cold feet. You could be like, oh, maybe this is too good to be true. Or whatever the case is. But we're going to dig deeper and see. I'm going to pull these emotion cards. Let's see how they feel about this connection right now. Okay. And for some, it doesn't have to be new. I mean, it could be somebody you've always known. Or somebody you're dealing with now. Uh, okay, so their energy towards you. We have denial. Let's see. Let's keep going. And we have judgment, okay? So uh, some of you guys could be, um, what's the word? Uh, just have past damage, past dramas. Um, and on your end, we have surrender. I can, I can release my need to control. So, yeah, I feel like it's coming from your end mostly. See, yeah, it's needing for you to have surrender and have courage. Because uh, this could be something that's actually good. Don't put your past traumas and hurts on this new person. Or on, you know, whoever's in your life right now. Because it's like, they're like, no, nah, it's not like that. And they, they might know that you're even, you even have trauma or some type of hurt or you know trust issues it doesn't have to be that damn deep um you could have just gotten out of something okay but it's not really saying right now so we're gonna keep going okay let's see what do i want to do here okay we'll pull some tarot to see if it uh helps out have first card coming out four of pentacles all right so in regards to the tarot we have the four of pentacles yeah somebody holding back it's some type of energy that's holding back for some reason it's not picking up now and then we have examined what is causing you to feel this way like i said i feel like it's something that you might have drugged with you or um uh like i said trust issues things like that old past traumas yeah, Queen of Cups needing to surrender, okay, emotionally. Now, this could be you or them, okay, vice versa. We have the Sun, so we got to be dealing with a Leo. It could be a water sign as well, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Bottom of the deck, we have the world. Yeah, cycles, endings. Yeah, Knight of Wands. Yeah, you might be coming out of a cycle of uh, dealing with fuckboys, fuckgirls. Knight of Wands is somebody that's in and out energy, okay. Um, that, that energy might, it could have been dealing with a Sagittarius before. Yeah, the Ace of Cups, it was just here. Yeah, Three of Swords. It's like right after this Ace of Cups wanted to come out, it just showed his face. But it shows after this Three of Swords, right after, it's like a real love offer. So, that yeah, that lets me know 
Um, they telling me to take, yeah, go ahead and take it. This is why somebody is holding back, holding their cards close to their chest. Um, because they dealt with some type of in and out energy, okay? It wasn't stable, uh, maybe commitment phobia, okay, for some. And then it's like, here's the love offer, offer right after. It's like, oh, I want to take this cup. Yeah, I'm noticing, like, here it's like, you know, she has the cup. And then on here it's like, her cans is off. Like, oh, I want to take this cup. But I don't know. Let's see. So you guys be dealing with the Pisces. Yeah, uh, a Scorpio as well we have here. Yeah, it's like, you need like a rebirth, some type of healing or continuing your healing journey. But it's a rebirth emotionally. Maybe learning how to be emotionally open as well, okay? And being able to not have trust issues. Yeah, it's like an illumination of like, maybe you always catch people that sneaky, deceitful. Because you see how this is a bright sun and then this sun is shining on the thief. This is the seven of swords, the thief trickery card, okay? Uh, maybe before you caught somebody or exposed somebody for the shit that they were doing. Okay, and it's like, oh, I don't want to go through that again. Or you could have went through that with this person and they're like, oh, that, that's over, okay? Ten of Pentacles, yes, yeah, Seven of Cups. It's like somebody could want to really um, sit down with you now, really be with you, build a family or whatever the case is. And it's like, mm, I really don't know. Let's continue. Yeah, Nine of Cups, Wish Fulfillment. It's like, um, maybe if you were even single for a while, it's like, I'm learning to be happy by myself. Yeah, strong Leo energy. We got the Leo card twice. Okay. Um... It, it's like I've learned to be strong. You see on this card, she has the uh, heart here, okay? So it's like I've learned to be strong. I've learned how to deal with it, maybe be independent or be a single for a while. And it's like it's mm, some of you guys be seeing eights. Somebody could have an uh, infinity symbol tattoo, okay? Somebody could drive an infinity vehicle. Yeah, it's like now I want to go by the book. It's like, uh, you feel like somebody's trying to get you to step out on a ledge here. And it's like, uh, I can't trust it. I like things that I can trust. I don't know if I can trust this. But that's how it is in love. You don't really know. You got to just kind of surrender. Queen of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy as well. It's like you want to read and go by the book besides just somebody could be just like, just just go with the flow and let it be organic. And it's like, no, I want to know where the fuck I'm going, okay? Like, no, I ain't got time for that. Yeah, somebody might not be sure about if they want family or a uh, committed relationship. Yeah, because you went through something that was burdensome. Maybe you had to start your whole life over again. I mean, like, it's like, yeah, why the fuck would I go back? I picked up the pieces to let somebody tear the pieces apart again. Yeah, lovers of you guys could have been dealing with a, a Gemini. Again, that Sagittarius is strong. Yeah, you could have been in something where you had to, somebody had to choose between lovers. The lovers is also a choice. And then we have the five of wands, which is competition. Somebody could have put you in competition before. Somebody could wear a dreadlocks as well. Somebody could have put you in competition before. And it's like, I just don't want to go through that again. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm thinking about these two. You, you, like, you could have left some type of competition energy. Um, and if this person is putting you through it. See, again, three of cups. It, it just, it ain't no shaking it. It's the lovers here. Which, which is usually a decision between two or more people. And then we have the five of wands, which is a comp competition. All these people here. And we have the three of cups. That's also uh, third party energy. Yeah. And it's like, nah, it's a no for me. Or this person uh, had multiple people and now they want to. Um, and now you don't know if you want it. Anyway, you know? That's the way it be sometimes. Okay. Make sure you guys like, share, subscribe. Hit that bell. Some of you guys could just not be in the mood. I just I feel really calm during you guys' energy. I started to heat up like I usually do, and then it just went right back down. So it's like, yeah, somebody can almost get you in the clouds. Like, fuck it, let's take a chance. And it's like, let me calm it on down. Yeah, Holy Spirit, look, no need to worry. That's what came out. It, 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 it seems like some worry energy. Like I said, trust issues, uh, projection. Because you don't know if this person's going to fuck you over or not. You know, you can't really put that on them. But I can see why you would hesitate, given the energy that I was just reading. Yeah, ask help from others. Maybe ask around about this person or maybe talk to somebody about the past traumas, okay? Yeah, because some of you guys might feel like there's something better. Or like I said, if this is an old person trying to come back and they did treat you like that, you might feel like there's something better, okay? 
It's like, I might not want to do that again. Okay. All right. So we're going to pull a couple of Rebel Dads and see what they say. Just say those five little words. You decide where to eat. You can be going out to eat with somebody uh, in this time frame. Cooking is a fucking meal. Yeah, homemade food is for a place. So, yeah, you guys could be cooking, eating out. Um, it's a lot of food here. Okay. Pack your bags. Get the hell out of town. It'll make you both lovable again. Some of you guys could be moving, going on a trip, going on a vacation. Your friends miss your face. They need you. You need them. So some of you guys might need to be, uh, maybe just talk with your friends about this. If you got responsible friends. My friends is going to give you bad ass fucking advice. Maybe talk with your friends about this. Uh, maybe someone just need to take a trip. Relax. Pack your bags. It's like a relax vacation type thing. Get the hell out of town and make you both lovable again. Yeah. Clearing your mind. It's talking with others. Cooking, going out to eat, whatever. Some lighter energy, because this energy seems a little heavy. When it doesn't really need to be. Because I don't feel any need for it to be that heavy right now. Yeah, deal with your drama. Handle exes, old hurts, and unresolved shit. That's crazy that this card came out, because I just said, you had like old traumas and like kind of projecting it. or Because you expect this person to fuck up, maybe like them or like they did in the past. Yeah, I said deal with your drama though. Handle exes, old hurts, and unresolved shit. Literally what I've been saying the whole reading. So that's nice that that card came out. And you also have listen. You still don't fucking get it. Yeah, it's... it's. They keep saying projection, projection, projection. This, this person might not be who or what you think they are. Like if you're like trying to brace for the worst, it's like you might not need to do that. Okay? And, yeah, and be careful because it's like denial and judgment. It's like they might judge you like, okay, this person is a little damaged. I don't have to do time to deal with that either. You know what I mean? And you don't want to uh, fuck that up. Yeah, unrequited passion. Make the effort. Yeah, it, this is probably what you went through. Maybe it was something that was just sexual. You want somebody to make the effort. Or they feel like maybe you're you're not into them as much. And they're making the effort. Or maybe they just think you like this. They're going to start thinking that... Maybe you're not as interested in them, okay? So be careful with that. Sacred space. Oh, too many cards. These cards want to fly out to us, I'm telling you. Yeah, I'm seeing like a nice dinner. Like it could be a candlelight like dinner or someone somewhere nice. Yet needing some alone time as well. We got silence, retreat, solitude, sacred space. Yeah, maybe somebody just needs some alone time with their thoughts. And then we have the union reconciliation. Uh, so for some, it could be somebody trying to get back with you from the past, or it's new. Yeah, mirroring. Yeah, they they're gonna go. They're gonna go off your energy. What you doing? They gonna do. You got trust issues and tweaking. They gonna go about their way and. And I, yeah, yeah, on the in the spiritual realm, like this person could be scared as well, but maybe you project more or vice versa. You guys might feel the same way, but uh, for some others might need more spiritual growth. Okay, because they might take it as you being petty or being difficult when you just you got trust issues or whatever the case is. They might see it as irritating. Okay. Yeah, somebody might be more spiritual and somebody be, might be more 3D-ish. Yeah, as soon as I said that, compromise. You guys might need to compromise as well, okay? In regards to this. I want to pull for the energy moving forward because this was just so short. I, I wasn't expecting it towards usually your readings are pretty long. Again, helpful people. You keep getting this. So, like I said, maybe you, maybe, I don't know if you need counseling or maybe people need to talk to you. Like, man, don't let that person fuck your head up. You gonna, because some people, they, be, they, they have exes that fuck them up or whatever and they carry that shit with them their whole life. Like, I'm not gonna carry this. If I let you go, I'm definitely not gonna carry your emotional bullshit with me. 
Yeah, it has you're ready and yes. Like you might not feel like you're ready. Maybe you're like, I need maybe I need more time. We've been broke up for six months. I need no. Okay? Because you might pass up a good thing for Okay. Let's not do that. Alright, I'm gonna pull some energy on where this might be going. What does it seem like this situation is going in the next couple of weeks on the sphere? What is the outcome? Okay, we have Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, yeah, it might slow things down. Yep, yeah, Princess of Wands. Yeah, everybody's like standing their ground. It could be like a gridlock. That's why it's the same uh, compromise. Uh, some of you guys could be dealing with Libra, but look, it, it needs to be balanced though. We have the Knight of Pentacles, the slow moving action. Some of you guys could be dealing with the Taurus, Ring, Capricorn, but that could be you. Just like the balls in your court and you're just holding the ball. And it's like somebody's ready for you to, yeah, throw the damn ball so I can hit it. <laughs> it's like, no. I don't want you to. Yeah, it, it needs to be uh, some type of balance. Bottom of the deck, the hermit. Yeah, some of you guys be dealing with the Virgo as well, but it's like, mm, I don't know if I want to show you all of me. You know, for some you might have not even did anything with this person if it's that new. Yeah, five of wands. You they go to five of wands again. That competition, you guys might be. It's like, uh, uh, I can't deal with no more competition. So maybe this person made you feel like it might have been some competition or see three of swords again. Same exact cards coming out from the other deck. Yeah, this is why you're standing your ground. Two of Wands. Again, for some of you guys, you can have two options as well. And it, But it just looks like, like the relationship. Maybe you guys just didn't want to label it or really have say that you were with this person. Because look at it. It's like a long road up. Okay? It's like, eh, do I want to really climb all the way up there? Would it be worth it? Maybe somebody wants to know if you're worth it at Seven of Cups again as well. Yeah, somebody's trying to gauge if this is worth it. Mm-hmm. Yep, indeedy. Yeah, four of cups. Is it worth my time and energy? Again, somebody could be taking a vacation. I keep seeing palm trees, like beaches, sandy. Okay. Like uh you know when you swim the little cover all cover up that you put on your swimming suit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it could be travel, plane travel, car travel. I feel like for some, you guys drove if it's some type of trip. So you guys be dealing with Pisces. Yeah, somebody is like waiting. Like, ah, oh, let me see. I'm just trying to make my my next move, my best move. And then somebody's like ready to just take the, the leap. Yeah, two different energies. I'm telling you. Somebody's ready to go and somebody's hesitant, all right? Not sure who was who. Yeah, the hierophant in regards to commitment. So somebody could have put the offer on the table, but it's like, mm, what do I want to do? This is also your energy as well. You could just be observing this person as well, Taurus, because you are the hierophant. Yeah, again, I keep seeing like these stairs. Somebody could be going to Egypt for a trip as well. Somewhere hot sand. I'm telling you, I'm seeing that. Yeah, again, we, we looking at these stairs and going up this hill. It's like, ah, do I want to put in the work? I just put in the work years and something else. Okay, so you guys can be dealing with the Aries. We have the magician coming out. Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody's in between. Do they want to be? It's crazy. Uh, maybe this is an Aries, or you're dealing with the Aries. Um, if, if you want to commit, or just be single and abundant on your own. Okay. All right. Well, that is your reading, Taurus. Very, um, there wasn't much emotion in that. Straight to the point as well. Usually we have highly intense readings, but mm, nope, not today. It's just pretty much do you want to go full throttle and commit and on the other end, just be single and abundant on your own. Like I said, it was some confusion really trying to figure that out. The scales kept coming out, so it's like you're weighing in on the scales of what you really want to do, okay? Maybe it was with regards to the past when... You know, you did put your all in, and now it's like, oh, I don't think I want to do that again. Okay, do I want the happy family, happy wife, happy life, happy husband, whatever. It was some type of deceit that came out, or some type of betrayal, and it just kind of fucked you up, okay, in regards to that, or your person. Okay, Taurus, that is your reading. Make sure you guys like, share, subscribe, hit that bell so you know when I'm dropping another video. And in regards to love, see y'all in the middle of the month. Bye-bye.